what's up guys and today we're talking about color correction how to make your footage look more hollywood and cinematic using node video editing app to do don't freak out even if you don't have knowledge about color correction this video really got you covered i'll be walking through my workflow from start to the end the most amazing part of node video editing app is that provider with an option where you can save your workflow as custom lots and share with your friend as preset or as well you can reuse it on your next project to speed up your edit please if you enjoy my content and you gain value from it please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more so you can join the conversation and also you can check out my free note video editing load pack and intro templates to speed up your edit 10 times more faster i put the link in the video description so without further ado let's jump right into the note video editing app and let's check out my workflow to make your clips my clips look more cinematic so without further ado let's get started here we are in the node video editing app first thing we have to do is to create a new composition by setting our composition resolution as well the frame rate to high as possible i'm going to set this straight to 19 20 by 1080p then hit on ok then the frame rate leave it as 30 then your preview resolution you can leave it at 50 but i like to go for 25. you can as well change it in your edits then leave this to current layer then what we want to do now is to create a new composition so we can start our edits you're gonna hit on this plus icon i love working interactive when it comes to color corrections or color grading i don't want to like start copy and paste i love working on adjustment layer Maybe i can save my workflow as lots i can reuse it on my next project or i can as well share with my friends that want to use the same template that i use or the same color correction or grading i use so i'm going to be what use my what group which is same thing as adjustment layer in after effects so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be renaming this to what adjustment layer I'm gonna erase all this then write adjustment layer adjustments i'm gonna use this very quick adjustment layer hit on ok so now we have this adjustment layer right here you're gonna be seeing something like a black but that is the adjustment layer when you click on this and you go down right here then move this up a little bit you're gonna see what is on the adjustment layer anything that is under this adjustment layer all the property and the effect is gonna, gonna affect all the clips that is the main function of the words of the group is an adjustment layer as it is being used in after effect so the same as in node video editing app to ease your word editing so what we're gonna be doing now is to start the words is to start our our color grading import the footage we want to color grade so i'm gonna be eating on this plus icon right here then bring in from my folder video then you're gonna search for the for the footage you want to use which is this right here so here is the footage i want to color correct first thing whenever you are using node video editing app and you don't want to have issue with the playback or you know, rendering problems you have to what run a prefetch on the what on the clip immediately you want your import it into what into the node video app so what i'm going to be doing is to click on this three plus icon right here this three line right here sorry then go to your order click on order then go to prefetch it's going to take a couple of time to just load it but it's not going to waste your time it's just a couple of seconds you are done with that so you just give it a couple of seconds and once it has been done just hit on your save but for this tutorial i don't want the videos to be long so i'm going to be what hit on save it to continue what prefetch as you can see the symbol on right there is telling me that the prefetch is being what is still running on the clip so first thing i want to do now is i have the clips then i have my adjustment layer for me to be able to reuse this adjustment layer on my next project or share with my friends i need to what import the video i want to what to to color correct or color grade or run any effect on it i need to import it into the adjustment layer so anything i do is going to affect everything inside the adjustment layer so what i'm going to be doing is to hold on this clip right here and drag it into this adjustment layer right here when i scroll down a little bit from here you're gonna see it's gonna show me that it's a video from this right spot here you see it's telling me video is inside this adjustment layer so that's telling me this is the video and this is my adjustment layer what you have to look after so, so you don't make mistakes is that whenever you want whenever you're using this adjustment layer you don't want to click on the video itself and start doing the 
and start doing your color correction or color because when you do it like this that means you are working destructive anything you apply is going to be only apply on this footage alone but if you want to reuse that effect again you need to put any effects on what on your adjustment layer so any clip you import and you include them into the word into the adjustment layer the effect is going to be what affects all so let's continue with it so i'm going to be clicking on this right here showing me it's going to be showing you something like this bar right here telling you that you are on the adjustment layer so what i'm going to be doing next is to go to my plus icon right here click on the plus icon then go to color correction straight away and for those that didn't have the color correction option in their node video editing i'm due to you having unlocked the pro version you can as well follow me because i'm still going to show you a bonus tips on how you can as well color your pretty your footage like a professional so let's move on so one thing i'm going to be clicking on is my basic color correction so you're going to be seeing this tab right here unlock all these right here click on this and to bro to bring all this clip right here so now we have this property all the way down right here so these are what you're gonna be using to collaborate this video right here so i don't want to make mistakes so i want to show you guys so as we move forward i'm liking to show you before and after so i'm gonna be writing click on this clip right here and go to this three line right here and duplicate this clip before i start doing anything on it then i'm gonna click on it and move it out of the adjustment layer this is a copy that i want to be using as before and after so you can understand any effect we apply how changes it has done on the clip so without further ado i click back on the word adjustment layer so now we have this property right here we have the contrast we have the black we have the shadow we have the highlights we have the gamma exposure but one thing i want you to take note whenever you are doing color correction is to know what composition is actually dominating in your clip like this clip right here the composition of color that dominates most is white actually but what we can see here is not truly white but actually is white due to the what due to the light read that is being captured by the camera this is actually white the second thing is note your black so that can as well help you in the color correction so and the skin you need to note the skin as well you don't want to face out from the skin and start color reading where the skin is being affected so what we're going to be doing now is my black i want my black to be black my white my shadow i love deep shadow but this is personal preference if you like shadow more shadow in your clips you can use that then my highlights my, my contrast i love my contrast to be to be deep and i want my shadow as well to be deep so these are what we're going to be noticing the first one i'm going to be tackling on is my black i want to make sure my black are blacks my my red are red and my white are white using this all this reader right here you're going to be seeing all the doors so now i'm going to be coming down right here and bring my black all the way down to get up dark area i don't want to do it too much when you do it too much the clip is going to be becoming dark because the black is going to be casting exposure on the words on your clips so you don't want to do it too much whenever you don't have much black so now i'm going to be reducing this to like 10 good then my white i want to know there's a lot of white right there i want to make sure my white is i don't want to do it too much but i want to make sure that it's on its right quantity so i'm going to bring this to 0 0.29 awesome so you guys you can see the white is becoming that right white as you can see before it's not that white but now it's becoming that nice white as as natural so now i'm going to be coming down to my shadow now make sure that your shadow as for me i love my shadow to be deep but as for you it's personal preference you can apply it and see what it does to your footage so i'm going to be bringing my shadow to so a negative 0.50 nice then i'm gonna be coming down to my highlights my highlight i want to make sure that uh, that as well is a low because i can see there are more lights in the in the video there are more light casts so i need to what to make sure my highlight is in the right quantity i'm gonna reduce it to the negative 0.44 you can as well see what this does once you start using this you understand what actually the each and every property right here how the effects how the effect your footage then my contrast i need to make sure my contrast as well is in that is in the is it not too much high then too much low it's also in the right quantity which i'm going to be leaving as negative minus 53 make sure that you can do that slowly so you don't so you don't do it too much then i'm going to be coming down to my gamma i'm going to make sure my gamma is negative 10 so you don't i don't want to overdo it because i have a lot of color in there so i don't want to fade out all color so my exposure i want to make sure my exposure is not that overcast or too much low i want to make sure it's on the strike quantity as others so i'm going to be leaving that as negative 0.20 you can as well copy of this figure i used and as well twist it when you see those changes is not that good look on your footage so now i'm going to be coming down i'm going to be raising this a little bit coming down right there i'm going to see my temperature this actually helps me to, to affect overall overall look of the footage when i overdo it it's going to be bringing down like 
like a sunny day in the in the month but if I, if I let's do it it's gonna be bringing all the effect that i've applied to their right order whereby my white is white my red is red my black is black so i'm gonna be doing this i'm gonna be reading it to negative 0 0.42 which is awesome to have that nice white nice black so now this is what we get so so this is before and this is after this is before and this is after awesome right so one of the quick bonus tips i always love doing is so let me head back to the adjustment layer and quickly show you this tip i'm going to be going down to my what to my saturation i'm going to make sure my saturation is high because i want the red to pop up as you can see if i overdo it it becomes the dark cream black and white but i don't want that so i'm going to be making sure that saturation is that minimum is not over cast on the image whereby i'm going to be lost in a lot of information in the footage so now we have this script c image so this is before this so this is before and this is after this is before and this is after awesome right so what we're going to be doing next is a quick bonus tips that i always love to share with you guys please if you gain value out of this video so far please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more one of the bonus tips i always love to share with you guys is just to make this footage look more crazy and all you would do is to come down to this plus icon right here and go to my color grading i'm going to be using this basic color grading i'm not going to go in deep into the into the advanced color grading which i'm going to be making tutorial about that in the next video so now once i open this up you see the gray on the clothes this is telling me that it's casting lift on the what's on my red and some color right here as you can see so what i'm going to be doing is just so simple it's just to make sure i drag this all the way to my negative four just make sure it's on negative four now good as you can see all the as you can see all the ambience light right here is bringing up their real color so what i'm going to be doing next is to come down to this aspect right here since i have this crispy look screen right here i'm going to make sure that my gamma is going towards the yellow to bring that pop screen so i'm going to be bringing this all the way to this as you can see it's affecting the what the all the light hue right there so i'm going to be bringing this to towards the yellow to give my skin to give the skin tone and more ambient light their real color as you can see right here the color is now what is now coming up exactly as it is in the what in the real life so what i'm going to be doing lastly is just come down to this right here and just make sure i drag this all the way towards 0.9 0.99 that's giving me that creepy look of the footage so this is before and this is after we do the color correction so now let me show you how it look when i add sound effects to it so now with sound effects and vibe music this is how it actually look Value of this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. And make sure you check out my free node video editing lot pack and intro template to speed up your edit 10 times faster. And be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you get value from this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Stay peace and be blessed. Bye for now.